Hey everyone, so today is my last day with the Ridgeline. I'm gonna be sad to see it go. I really like this truck, but I thought I would do something a little bit different for this video and demonstrate how to use a Honda Ridgeline to haul mountain bikes. All right, so here's the bed of the Ridgeline. It's pretty similar to the bed on any other mid-size pickup, although in the case of the Ridgeline, it's lined in plastic and it's actually integrated into the bodywork of the vehicle because the Ridgeline is unique in that it is the only unibody pickup truck on sale in the United States today. Anyway, the way you haul mountain bikes with a pickup truck is over the tailgate. And I actually, online, earlier this week, picked up this tailgate pad. I don't own a pickup truck personally, but I've always wanted a tailgate pad because I do test out a lot of trucks and I do a lot of mountain biking. Oh, super heavy tailgate. But generally these things cost between about 100 and $150. I picked mine up used for 20 bucks and that's because the previous owner had cut the inside part here so generally this would come all the way down but apparently they owned a Cadillac Escalade EXT and in order for this pad to fit it needed to be cut so I don't know what was going on there but uh, I think this is actually going to work out for me uh, just fine so this is a size large Dakine tailgate pad they sell these in size small, which uh, generally are used for a mid-size pickup like Tacoma, Ranger, Colorado, Gladiator, Ridgeline, Canyon, Frontier. Uh, and then there's a size large that generally goes with your full-size trucks. Since I don't own a truck and I test out both mid-size and full-size trucks, I wanted one that would kind of work with both. So this is nice in that it's going to give me full coverage over any truck tailgate I encounter. Uh, it's maybe a little bit big for the Ridgeline, but given that it's cut right here, you'll notice there's a lot going on on the inside of the tailgate on the Ridgeline. Given that it's cut right here, it's going to fit both mid-size and full-size trucks uh, on the inside of their tailgates. So uh, that's a little bit of rundown on tailgate pads. Generally, they're all the same. Some include like foam blocks to keep your bikes divided. This is just a really basic one, but again, I'm probably not gonna use it all that often, and it only cost me 20 bucks, so you really can't beat that. So I am gonna install this on the tailgate here, and then I will be right back. Okay, that took less than a minute. I've got it installed. So the way it attaches is you've got these loops right here and then a strap. There's not perfectly aligned, but there is a Velcro strap here for accessing your tailgate. Unfortunately, the backup camera is completely obstructed, but it's not the worst trade-off in the world. But you've got three straps here, two for the sides, one for the middle and you just slide them through this loop, pull them tight, and then there you go. You can toss a bike over your tailgate and your tailgate will be protected and the bike will be somewhat supported. And like I said, given that this pad is cut, it actually fits the Ridgeline pretty well, despite the fact that it's a size large pad being fitted to a vehicle that would typically take a size small. And now, the only thing left to do is throw my bike over the tailgate. And there we go. So you wouldn't think that a bike would be supported this way, but it's actually pretty steady. 
So I haven't strapped it down. This pad doesn't actually include straps or, or anything to strap your bike down, but I don't feel like it really needs it. Uh, the way the fork rotates 90 degrees and then the tire sits against the pad keeps it pretty steady. You can see that the bike is coming into contact with the tailgate in two places. So you've got right here on the fork, which I wouldn't want that to rub too much given the way the front suspension works. And then it just sits on the down tube right here. So yeah, pretty nice. I think this is gonna work out well for me. So the pad covers all the way out to the taillights, doesn't cover the taillights themselves, which is nice. You wanna keep those visible. And there is a block here that would keep the bike from sliding too far out to the side. But there you go, not so bad. You could definitely get a second bike up there. I think if I needed to, I could probably fit four bikes back here. You're not gonna be storing too much in the bed when you're using it to haul mountain bikes, but you could still probably get a cooler in here, especially if you're only hauling two bikes. Uh, if you needed four, you'd probably then have to keep things in the cabin here. But yeah, that works out pretty well. Here's a view of the back. It's strapped on pretty well. I've heard that these things get stolen sometimes um, because most of them don't come with a way to lock them in place, but I'm sure if you wanted to add a lock, you could do that. But looks pretty good. Looks kind of cool. Looks like this thing's ready for action. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the Ridgeline. I'm pretty happy with this tailgate pad. I think it's a pretty nice setup that I'm definitely going to use and test out on other pickups going forward. Now all that's left to do is go mountain biking. And just a little aside here, you would think that the bike would fall over back there, but look, 90 degree turn taken at, okay, 15 miles per hour, but it just stays in place. To anyone who mountain bikes, this is like a normal everyday thing. To anyone who mountain bikes and owns a truck, but to me, it just amazes me that you can just toss a bike back there like that and it doesn't fall over. Anyway, okay.